This is Nathan Thompson. Nathan Thompson, what's up, my friend? How are you? Are you? Are you? I'm doing great. Are you Thanks out of? Asking, are you out of jail? Oh gosh. I heard, yeah, I'm out of jail. Good, good, good. Because I, I heard stories, but uh, you want to tell everybody what happened? Uh, yeah, of course. So I was just walking my dog in the neighborhood. There were some kids. Uh, they were on recess. You know, nine, ten, eleven year old kids you know they weren't really young five six year old but they were a little bit older you know adolescents like y- young adults in my opinion and then um they were coming towards me and then teachers scared them you know the boogeyman with the flatter flyers is a threat don't go near the fence everyone needs to run away and so i just voiced that large bodies of water do not curve a couple times and i was live on my youtube channel and the next day, police showed up at my house, asked me questions about it, and said they were just doing an investigation. And I said, all right, cool, I answer all their questions. And the next day, four police showed up at my house and arrested me for disorderly conduct and took me to jail and booked me, fingerprints, mugshot, the whole nine yards. And everyone in jail was laughing, going, why didn't they just write you a ticket? <laughs> right. I, why would they have to I don't know why they haven't done that, but... That is insane. That's insane. Why would they bring you in? Oh, That's boy. so stupid. So hey, stupid. My my question yeah, Nathan, is: that. Did you did, did you flat smack the police on the way to the jail? <laughs> oh boy, of course. <laughs> uh, well, actually, I didn't. Uh, once I found out they were arresting me, and then I asked why I was being arrested, and they said, "You know why you're being arrested." They didn't read me any of my rights, so mm-hmm. I had none of that. They just put me in the back of the car, took me to jail. I actually didn't say anything to any of them because I just didn't want to be loud and boisterous like they thought I was going to be. Mm. So I just went in quietly and calmly. But once I got in there, I definitely talked to all the correctional officers and all the inmates about Flat Earth. And pretty much, you know, I, I flat smacked everyone in there. There were rumors going on around the jail to where, like, people would meet me and be like, hey, I heard you're in here for flat smacking a bunch of kids. <laughs> or they said flat sharing Flat Earth with a bunch of kids. And so, yeah, that that happened. Wow. Well, that's it's a felony, so I mean, of course they're gonna. <laughs> right. How dare you teach children or try and talk to them? <laughs> so, the so Nathan, you have you have a hearing no. coming up in a month. Are, are you gonna Are you gonna prepare a speech saying, you know, the the school system is lying to our kids? All science proves, you know, the Earth is flat. You know, only pseudoscience, religious beliefs, uh, you know, are what you're teaching. Uh, are you gonna try to make some sort of statement like that? Yeah, I'd love to. If they'll let me present a case, I will. I'm also, you know, trying to look for a lawyer. If some ACLU attorney wants to take my case, I'd love that. But uh, we'll see. I mean, I didn't. I was in an article today uh, with the Greenville News and USA Today. So they called me and asked me questions about what happened. And um, the I don't know. It's just it's blown up. I think it could be a pretty big deal. It seems like hate a hate crime, in my opinion, because they're trying to silence my First Amendment rights. I mean, I didn't intrude on the school. I was on a public sidewalk, and I just used my First Amendment rights, and they want to arbitrarily decide that that is disorderly conduct. Hey, Nathan, you ought to hook up with those uh, case dismissed guaranteed guys. They're flat earth lawyers. Yeah, I will. I will look into them. Thanks, Bob. I appreciate it. It's good to be on the show. Thanks, guys. Congrats on your 200 show. You guys are all legends, in my opinion. Forgot to say that when I jumped on. Thank you. All right, Nathan. All right, Nathan. Appreciate the call. Thanks, buddy. Take it easy. The Bible clearly states it'd be better if a millstone were hung around your neck and you were cast into the sea if you mislead children or cause little ones to stumble. Yo, could I give you something? Huh? Hold on one sec, I want to give you something. Can I give you something? Is that cool? Got to get a flyer. I got a ton of flyers. Let me know if you need flyers. Flatearthflyers at gmail.com. Sharing is caring. Red pill to youth. I got a young man out here. I'm an activist from California. I got a YouTube channel. I uh, shared Flat Earth with these kids at the school the other day, and they arrested me for disorderly conduct. I've got to mute this part because he is playing music on his phone and I don't want to get a copyright strike, but I pretty much just told him, research all the stuff on your flyers yourself. You don't have to believe anything in there, but if you want to find my YouTube videos, they're on the back on the bottom and that's about it. About, all right? Be blessed. Later, bro.